The AliExpress dropshipping center is back and it's bigger and better than before. So if you're looking for a good way to add trending products to your stores and make more sales and profit, in this video, that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do. Quick intro and let's go. All right, so let's check out the new and revised AliExpress dropshipping center. But one second before we get to it, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the next step in your e-commerce business, as well as join our Facebook community and our new Discord channel where thousands of dropshippers just like you and I help each other succeed. That being said, let's dive inside and see what the new AliExpress dropshipping center has to offer. First off, where do we find this new AliExpress dropshipping center? So what you need to do is simply head over to the AliExpress website, log into your account on the top right side, and then hover over it and click on my orders. So they hit it here in the order screen. What you're gonna do now is on the left menu, you're gonna click on DS Center, which we see right here on the left side. If you do not see the dropshipping center, first make some purchases with your new AliExpress account, reach out to their support, and let them know that you're a dropshipper and you'd like to see their dropshipping center. I didn't have to do that, but I do know cases where new accounts do not see it right away, and that is what you're gonna have to do in order to see it. So I clicked on the DS Center, and this is what we're seeing. Find products to sell. So here we're on the find products section, and we can also click on top selection to see the top selling products, but we're also gonna see them here. Now, what else do we have here? We have find products to sell, and we also have product analysis. This is where we can analyze products by just entering their URL right here, seeing their sales history, as well as similar products to them. But right now, let's keep it simple, find products to sell. Let's see what options we have here. So first you're gonna choose whatever category you're interested in. So what category would you like to brainstorm? For example, you can go with computer and office, home improvement, home and garden. All of the dropshipping categories here, all of the categories here are dropshipping categories, dropshipping friendly categories. So all of the products here, you can obviously dropship them and you don't have to worry much about it being a dropshippable product or not. Then you've got your ship from. So if you wanna ship domestically to your audience and you wanna have fast shipping times, what you're gonna do is ship from the same place that you wanna to ship to. So for example, if you're drop shipping to the United Kingdom, so you're targeting the UK audience, then you're also gonna look for products that ship from the United Kingdom because AliExpress has warehouses today all around the world. And this way, when you're shipping from and to the same country, you're gonna have really fast shipping times, really happy customers who will repeat their purchases on your website. So that's the first thing. You wanna try a ship from the same country that you wanna ship to. Then you have other filters. For example, do you have a discount code available? Do you offer free shipping in this listing? Does this listing have a video that I can showcase to my audience? And do you have local stock, which you can pretty much find that out when you're dropshipping from the warehouse that you wanna target. Then you've got a minimum and maximum price setting and you can search for a product, okay? So if you already know what product you wanna look for, like for example, pet supplies, then you're gonna search for that. Okay, let me just clear the rest of the filters and let's just search for pet supplies. Okay, I wanna see how well that's doing. Then I'm gonna click on submit and here I can analyze the best pet supplies products. So what's the difference between doing this and simply going to AliExpress and searching for pet supplies? I mean, we can, we can just do that, right? And see the results. Well, the difference is not only are you gonna see the best sellers right here, okay, which you can also see in the regular search results if you look for the ones that have a lot of orders, right? But here in the dropshipping center, you're also gonna get this chart right here showing you how well this product is selling, the selling history, okay? And you're gonna get more things like the item is described, communication and shipping speed. So information that you would get only after entering these product listings from the regular search field. And even on the regular search field, you're not gonna get the best product results on page one. You are gonna get those that are selling well, but you're gonna find the best ones through the dropshipping center. And with this chart here, you're also gonna get historical data on how well this product has been performing recently and not just in all of its time since it was created. So when you're searching for a product, you don't know if this listing was created five years ago and you know in the last year it's not really trending anymore that is what you're going to see by simply hovering over the products in the dropshipping center okay so here for example you can see this terrarium reptiles product 
which is starting to trend pretty well. And of course, we're right before Christmas, so anything that has to do with Christmas is going to sell like crazy right now, but maybe by the time you're watching this video, it's not Christmas anymore, but that doesn't really matter. You got that product idea from the dropshipping center. Let's see if we've got Christmas ideas on the regular search results. Okay, because if you're right before a certain holiday, you really want to sell those products. But because these products here on the regular search results are not products that are trending right now, they're just products that are trending in general or maybe trended in the past, we're not going to see that right here in the search results. So that's another good reason to use the AliExpress Dropshipping Center to see what's trending now and not what trended a year back. Okay, what other information do we have here? Let's hover over this one, another Christmas product. Okay, so this one, as you can see, of course, the sales are going to start trending. It's going to start going up because we're about a month and a half away from Christmas. But if I click on this product, okay, let's click on it, then of course you're gonna get, go over to the product page. Now, what I could do is I could copy the URL, okay, then I'm gonna head back to the dropshipping center and I'm gonna click on go to analyze, okay? It's the same as clicking on the product analysis up here. Now, what it did is it's looking for similar products to the one that I just clicked on. So I was on these bandanas, on these Christmas bandanas right here. I clicked on go to analyze and what it's showing me now is other pet Christmas bandanas that are trending right now. So this is a good way to find all of these trending products and add them to your stores while it's trending, while it's hot. Now, one quick way to do it, if you're using AutoDS and you've got the AutoDS Chrome extension installed, you can simply hover over the product and click on this icon right here. Then it will automatically move to the draft section of your store where you can publish the product or optimize it before for publishing and that's it one click imports as easy as that but if you don't want the one click import option if you want to import all these products without having to click on them one by one another way to do it is by once again using the AutoDS Chrome extension I'm going to click on the circle icon right here then I'm going to click on extract now all of the product IDs right here that we're seeing on this screen all of these 16 products got extracted into this extension then I'm going to export it as a CSV file then a CSV file will download onto my computer now what I'm going to do with that AliExpress export CSV file is head over to the AutoDS platform. On the left side, I'm going to click on add products. Then I'm going to go with multiple products to multiple stores. Click on upload CSV. Then I'm going to drag and drop that CSV file right here or click on it to open up my browser window. Double click on the AliExpress export CSV file. And that's it. In just a couple of seconds, the file is uploaded. And of course, I can add as many products as I want into this extension before exporting it as a CSV. And now I'm simply going to click on add as a draft. Okay, make sure that the supplier source and that the region is correct. Click on add as a draft and that's it. All of those products are going to be added to the draft section of my store where I can completely optimize them before publishing them and having them go live. So those are some really quick import options that you can do directly from the AliExpress dropshipping center and enjoy quick product imports on products that are trending right now. So don't waste any more time, import those products, start selling them, enjoy those sales and profits and don't waste all day just importing products and optimizing them and importing more and simply wasting all your time on importing products that should only take a couple minutes and that is all it's going to take you once you've got dropshipping automation now even if you don't have a product idea that's completely fine you don't have to search for something right away just go to the aliexpress dropshipping center and see what they're showing you right away okay like we've got these espresso cups right here so check it out it was on a downwards trend and now it's completely on an upwards trend We've got women hair scrunchies. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to sell all of these products, okay? You need to figure out your niche. You need to figure out what you're trying to sell, but these products give you a good indication of what is selling hot right now, okay? So you can see a nice mixture of products here and try to simply think of something. Now, there are many ways to conduct product research. You can use the product research spreadsheet that we have that's completely free for you to use. If you want access to the product research spreadsheet, just leave a comment right below this video and I will send you the link. And that product research spreadsheet is really gonna help you find, narrow down the products that you find and see which products have the best potential to sell in your stores. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just go over these products and look for something that's really different, something that I haven't seen before with my over five years of dropshipping experience, it's easy to find products that are new, products that I haven't seen before that are on an upwards trend right now that I could take advantage of. So this is something that I haven't seen before and this actually looks pretty interesting. New aviator hat that actually has the sunglasses embedded inside the hat. So this is a pretty unique product that I haven't seen before and I wouldn't have stumbled across this if I wouldn't use the AliExpress dropshipping center. And from what I can see here, it had an upwards trend, it started to go down, and now it's starting to go back up again. So this one looks pretty good. And that is just one original idea of what you can find 
using the AliExpress Dropshipping Center. Don't sell things like Pokemon, so you can sell almost everything that you see on AliExpress, but stay away from big brands. And how about these waist trainers right here? I haven't seen anything that looks quite like that. That looks pretty interesting. That is worth researching. And also these garden solar lights. So these have been around for a while, but this specific design really looks good. So anyway, that's just a quick one minute going through the AliExpress dropshipping center. You go through it right now and find out new product ideas to sell in your stores. And keep in mind, it's all about the data. So if you see the product is on an upwards trend, especially if you look here, the seven days growth rate, 30% means that this product is trending right now. So you wanna rely on the data as much as possible. Use the product research spreadsheet to narrow down these products that you're finding, these unique products that you haven't seen anywhere else before. And this will help you find out what products have the best potential to sell. Once again, leave a comment below this video if you want access to the product research spreadsheet spreadsheet and I will send it to you. But what you need to do right now is go to the AliExpress dropshipping center and find some best sellers to sell in your store right after watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this quick video tutorial on the new and revised AliExpress dropshipping center. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I will personally answer them. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as join our Facebook community group and our new Discord channel. All of the links to that right below this video. Thank you for watching and good luck finding the best products to sell through the AliExpress dropshipping center.